Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna teach absolute beginners on how to trim your videos. First thing we need to do is bring our project into Corral Video Studio. Simply click onto this folder here, and then look for the file that you wanna use. I'm using a file called Cheese, let's open that up. Okay, now for the sake of the this tutorial, I'm just gonna convert it over to here where it says a list views. So you can see the duration is one minute and 30 seconds. Now I don't wanna use all of that and I'm gonna show you how we can quickly trim this just by using this preview window. So over here, we got this current time indicator or scrubber. And what we can do, we can drag this along to where you think you want the video to start. You can also press play. Go against the consumption of animal products Let's say you wa you wish to start the video here or you want to trim the video to here, use the mark in and then click and drag to the point where you wish the video to end and then do the mark end like so. And now you'll see the duration up here is going to change. Now watch if as I drag this in here, drop and drag, look, it's now 37 seconds. So I've trimmed that video from one minute 30 to 37 seconds. And that is the easiest way that we can trim the video for your project. If you're using the latest version of Corral Video Studio, you have a new option. We highlight the clip and then you've got here, Selection Mode. When you click on it, all these little icons will turn yellow. Now what this one does, it does the opposite. We're going to select the area we don't want to keep rather than trim a clip what we do want to keep. Very simple. If I take this little yellow marker down here, you'll see that it automatically places a section of the clip I do not want to keep. I can do the same here. So now what it'll do, this is the part that it's going to delete. So if I hit icon here, the delete icon, it's gonna remove that one. So now you can see it's gonna jump cut from this clip to that clip because we removed a section of the clip. The third option and probably the best option is to double click on your thumbnail. So let's do that, double click. You will be presented with a new window, this single clip trim. Now this is pretty cool and very basic. You can use the play button here. The so-called animal lover. Now, anywhere you want to start the video, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Once you have the position where you want to, simply hit the marker in, then you play the video again. They call their food. To the point where you go, this is enough video of what I wanna use in this segment, and then marker out. And then once you've done, you just press okay. Now, before I go, I'm gonna teach you why this one is the best option you have really good control when it comes to making precise cuts or edits with your video clip. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's just reset this. And let's say you're over here and you've already made a mark in and you kind of want to go either backwards or forward because you want to get right on a certain word. You can use this little cogwheel here. Now what happens? Watch what happens. I move it back and forth and I'm controlling that little marker down. Now, if I get to the point where it's exactly where I want, I can then reset that marker and then I'm more precise with my cuts. I can also do this. If I wanna hear what's going on, I can also click and drag this forward by one. And I can speed it up. This is normal speed. Fear of exploiting animals and for food. And then I can go faster. Are you trying to deceive people thinking they're consuming the Okay, so you see how you have way more control using this option than rather the first two options I gave you. So I would highly recommend to use this one most of the time. The last method is multi-trim clip. So what we need to do is take the clip, place it on our main track, right click, and then you will see here it says multi trim video just click on that once and this will allow you to take one single clip and trim it multiple times now if you did actually download something from the tv with commercials this thing has an automatic ad zapper and that's pretty cool specifically if you download the youtube video and you want to remove all the ads but let's not go into that that's too advanced for now Let's keep it very simple. All I want to do is multi-trim this clip. So here we go. I'm going to press play. The so-called animal love. I want to make my first cut here. Fine. And I'm going to do play again. Those who claim to detest everything about animal products. And I'm going to keep it going. Food by the same name as now you can stop products. it if you want. It's downright hypocritical. Let's start with almond milk. You can manually move it as well 
to stop and start certain areas of the video. You have the same control as the other clip trim by moving this fast or slow forward. Let's move it slow. You have the basic controls of the last one, but you're able to trim your clip multiple times. Once you are happy with what you have done, let's say this is the last clip you want to edit, simply press OK. Now watch what happens to the timeline. There you go. So now you've got multiple, multiple clips on your timeline that you've simply just trimmed in that little window. Multi-trim clip. And this is a very effective tool when you want to quickly process long videos. So there you go, my friends. This is everything you need to know or to get started on how to trim your clips. And as always, thanks for watching.